what's up guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you guys an updated version of the best streaming and recording settings that have worked for myself so i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys think it was helpful make sure you guys do drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel i'm so close to 90k subscribers and anything would be appreciated now first of all jumping into the streaming settings i personally use streamlabs obs uh, because i feel like it's so much better because just because of the fact that if you're on a new PC, you can literally log into your account and it'll transfer every single thing that you have. But another thing is, uh, let me drag my OBS here right now. Uh, as you guys can see, I have uh, some stream settings on my OBS. I have everything like tweaked on OBS for streaming as well, but I don't use it because OBS makes me lag spike. So it really depends on your PC and which app you like the most. But for me, OBS doesn't perform as well as Streamlabs OBS. And then for recording, OBS performs better than Streamlabs OBS. It's really weird. But yeah, so pretty much these settings I'm going to show you guys will work on both Streamlabs OBS or OBS. Alright, now let's hop into it. First off, we're going to go to this gear here, and then we're going to go to the output settings. Now, most people will start off at a simple mode, so you guys want to click this and then uh, click on advanced, so you guys can see this. Currently, I'm using the uh, NVENC new encoder, so I would suggest you guys all use that, so you guys don't use your CPU to stream. My bitrate is at 6k, but I like to move it around to 7k or around like 5k, depending on if it's laggy or not. So... If you think it's too laggy, then you guys go down to 5k. If you guys think, you know, it's fine, then you guys can go up to like 6k, 7k. It's going to make your quality way better. I used to use like quality, but honestly, I feel like it doesn't make a lot of difference. Like you guys can put like quality and then low latency and you really can't see a big difference. So I would say low latency or max performance, maybe performance, it would be good enough. But definitely if you guys want to go for performance and you guys don't have a great pc do not use max quality i'd say quality is probably the highest you guys should go now for profile just ignore it just put it at high all right now on to video settings i currently stream at 720p because uh, well i mean like you can't watch 1080 on twitch anyways so i pretty much put it at 720 you guys can choose like 1080 it honestly doesn't matter if you guys feel comfortable with 1080 then use 1080 but i use 720 you guys can use 864, 810, or 900p. This is actually all up to you. It just depends on which one gets you more frames, which one gets you least frames. If it affects, then definitely make it lower. If it doesn't, then you're good. My last settings video had uh, Lanso's in it, so I was using Lanso's back then, but I feel like if you went to bilinear, it doesn't really affect the quality, and it also increases the performance, so definitely use bilinear. Now, an additional thing you guys can do to uh, boost your frames and lower your input delay is to right click here and then click performance mode. This will turn off the preview which will make your game a lot smoother. Now for the OBS setting right here, you guys can do the same thing. You guys right click and then now this is uh, enable preview so just do click it and then you guys will have the preview as currently disabled screen and then you're fine. Alright guys, now on to the recording settings. I actually have two different recording settings so I have one for Streamlabs. At, well, not Streamlabs, I have one for OBS and then I have one for NVIDIA. So first of all, we'll start with OBS. Alright, now what you guys want to do is definitely, again, go on to OBS. I would recommend using OBS instead of Streamlabs because Streamlabs is actually very laggy when you're trying to record. And like, there's a lot of input delay, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. So I would really recommend using OBS and not Streamlabs. But first off, again, go to the output, go to recording, definitely select advanced. And here are the settings that you guys want to have. You guys want to use, again, NVENC new. And then for your output, this thing, you just ignore it because my monitor is currently on stretch res, so this is why I have this, but you guys can just ignore this. Now for the bitrate, I know a lot of people definitely use like 10k or 20k bitrate. That is not good enough. If you guys want to have at least a 1080p crisp quality video, you guys need to have like 40k bitrate or 50k bitrate. I think 40k is still a bit blurry, but, but if you guys want to have like at least a 1080p quality video, you guys have to use at least like 40k plus. I use 50k because I think it's like right in the middle. 60k is probably a bit overboard and anything above that is just too much. Now I know a lot of you guys are thinking that this bitrate is gonna make your PC super laggy. Trust me, I thought about it as well, but when I tried it, it was perfectly fine guys. Trust me, it does give you a bit of added input delay. I went from uh, 9 milliseconds to uh, 11 milliseconds, but it's just a bit so it doesn't have that much of an effect. Now for my video, my preset quality is on high. I don't think we should lower it to low latency. I haven't really tried yet, but for videos, I would say just keep it at a high quality because it doesn't really affect as much, in my opinion, in your input delay and FPS. Now for video, just keep it at like the normal 1920 by 1080 And for downscale filter, put by linear because it really, again, doesn't really affect the quality as much and is better performance. And now for the G4 settings. Now, as you guys can see, I have just recorded another banger video. It's going to come out in a few days, probably two days after this video drops tomorrow. But first of all, what you guys want to do is press Alt-Z and then you will get here. You guys want to turn off instant replay to be able to edit like the settings so first of all you guys want to go here on the gear 
and then go to recording, well not recording is my bad, go to uh, video capture and then you guys can choose a quality right here. I know last time I said you could put it at custom but here's the thing, you guys can decide to record at 4K, 1440p, I don't think it will affect the performance as much, it will just make the size of like the video file bigger. But again, I would just recommend putting it on high and putting the resolution in game because if you guys can't or you guys don't have a monitor to reach like let's say 4K, then there is really no point in recording in 4K, it's just going to lag a bit and it's definitely going to take up a lot more space on your hard drive, uh, so I really wouldn't recommend it. For bitrate, again 50 Mbps which is 50k bitrate. So same thing, OBS if it's 50k, then you use it. Um, I would say do not go any lower than 50k. You guys can try experiment with from here to the 80, 80 uh, Mbps range, but don't go higher than that because it will definitely start lagging a lot and it definitely will again use a lot more space. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it did help you guys. Uh, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So close to 9k subscribers. Anyways, have a great day or night. Peace out.